Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you how to get started with STM32 development in VS Code. And so for this you need a few tool chains. The first one is the command line tool from STM32. Make sure you download it according to your operating system. And the second thing that you will need is the STM32 extension from VS Code. So if you open VS Code, go to extensions and write here STM32. You should see this extension. Make sure you install it. Also, it cannot work if you don't install the command line tool beforehand, so make sure you install it. You'll have everything in the description. Now that you have everything installed, you should find the icon over here on the left hand side. Click it, and to create a new project, just launch stm 32 cubemx I will be using the same board from the last video, which is F756ZG. So I'll select the board, then click Start Project, and for the sake of clarity, I'll just enable the basic stuff, which are a basic GPIO and the clock peripherals. So I'll just clean up you now beforehand. I'll choose an oscillator then the serial wire, otherwise you cannot debug the microcontroller if you don't enable this, and then a simple GPIO for toggling. For instance, I'll choose B0, which is connected to the user LED. Configure it as output, and for the last step, you need to generate a project with CMake. Go to Project Manager, then choose the toolchain IDE to CMake. CMake is just a toolchain used to control the build process of a project. Then choose a project name and click Generate Code. You will need to remember the path in which the project will be saved. Now go back to VS Code, click on this icon, STM32 extension. Now you need to press Import CMA Project and then go to your project directory and then select it. Then press import project and that's it. A new tab will pop up like this and you can choose open in this window. Now I'll just toggle the LED, so I'll go to core, source, main. Now to build the project you have the build icon on the bottom side over here, so press build. Select Debug, and everything is alright. To flash the image onto the board, go to Terminal, then Run Task, and then Build plus Flash. Then select Continue without scanning the task output. And as you can see, the LED is blinking with a delay of 200 milliseconds. And by the way, if you're interested in learning more about embedded software, you can join my free school community, I will let the group link in the description section. Now I'll show you how to port a project from CubeIDE to VS Code. And so, in the last video I showed you how to create a basic web server, and I'm going to use that project for this video. You need to go to that project folder, its name was Mongoose first, and so click it, and you will need to delete some files, respectively .c project, that .project, that settings, and that's it. Now I'll close this project, so go to File, Close Folder. Now you will need to open the CubeMX file of that project, and so click Mongoose first, and you'll need to generate it as CMake, as I have already shown you. So go to Project Manager, and then select the CMake toolchain. Then press Generate Code. Now everything is set up, so you'll just need to import the project in VS Code. So close everything, go to the STM extension, and then press Import CMake Project again, and I'll import that project. Then select Import Project, open in this window, and now there's one more thing to do if you're using an external library, such as mongoose.h, mongoose.c, and mongoose.config. Because CMake is only including by default the 
CMCs and the HALB libraries. And so, you need to go to CMake lists and add the path to your external library. As you can see over here, I have included mongoose.h and mongoose.config.h. If I build it right away, I'll get an error. And you see, I get an error because I get undefined reference to mg log level, although I have included those libraries. And so, go to cmakelists.txt, scroll down a little, and over here you'll need to add the path to the header files and the source file. And everything is set up. Now I'll build the project again and I'll get no errors. Oh, actually, I get a, one more error because if you have seen my previous video already, there's a second definition for the Ethernet IRQ handler. And so I'll go back to it.c and rename the IRQ handler for the Ethernet. Because Mongoose includes one as well. And so I'll build it again and I'll get no errors. Now, I'll show you how to debug the project. So go to this icon in the left hand side, press it, and then press this triangle. And now over here you can see the local variables, the global ones, and the registers and so on. But for now let's focus on the main things. And so I run the project and then I'll see what does the board output. So I'll open real term. Let me see. And so this is the IP of the board. So go here in the browser and type the IP of the board. And so we're getting hello Mon from Mongoose. That's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you would like to see in the next video and I'll see you guys later.